Hello there, and welcome to the Dermatology Clinic. My name is SRP, and I'm going to be checking your lids, lashes, and surrounding orbital areas, looking for any defects, any lumps and bumps, whether that be innocuous or sinister. And if needed, I can always make a referral to the hospital. Okay, so I'm just going to review your past notes from two years ago. Okay. So two years ago, everything appeared fine with the lids and lashes. Blepharitis. Musclasians. And all the papillomas, carcinomas. And everything was fine. And you, you had a little, a little bit of surgery at the hospital for a skin tag, just on the outer right area there. Excellent. So have you noticed any problems with your lids, lashes, or surrounding areas, any lumps, bumps, growths, pigmented areas, discoloration? Excellent. Okay. So first on the list we're going to be looking at skin tags. So the next thing I want to look for is polyosis of the eyelashes. This is where the eyelashes lack pigmentation and they lack the melanin and they might show up as little white eyelashes. So I'll just have a little lift of the lid and just a little manipulation of the eyelashes there for any polyosis. Okay, so right, all the lashes are dark and black if you like. For the left side, I'll have a little look for any polyosis. Okay, good. Okay, so all lashes are dark. Or 
any flex or scales in the base of the eyelashes there. And the good news is we also have a little grading scale here for check for blepharitis. So this is what we're looking for. And this is the severe end of the scale. Inflammation, flakes, maybe a little bit of sticky discharge. Just look up for me. I'll scan the lower lid margin. Got any blepharitis? Good. Okay, keep looking up. I want to check the upper lid margin. Any redness or flakes? Clear. Good. Okay, looking up again. Good and the upper good, and we don't appear to have any signs of blepharitis in the right or the left, and you're not having any symptoms of blepharitis either, which is good. Okay, so we're just going to have a look areas below on the cheekbone there and surrounding areas here looking for any milia which are little white deposits where keratin just becomes stuck under the skin or skin flanks stuck under the skin okay. few little milia which are quite normal they're certainly innocuous they're very innocuous okay good so I'll just make a note of the milia mm -hmm. Focus my attention on the area just directly below the lashes here, looking for any blocked mybomium glands. Look at mybomium glands on the lower right area. I'm also going to focus on the upper area and block mybomium glands, also known as Calaisian. Calaisian. They tend to be painless, but it can get quite big. If the blockage isn't addressed, so all I'm doing is applying a little bit of pressure. Okay, just look down on the upper lid there. Are there any lumps and bumps? Looking up for me. A little bit of pressure on the lower. Good. And for the left side. Just looking down for me. Good. Okay. No signs of any internal or external audiolum there. That usually cause a little bit of pain or discomfort. A little bit of redness to the area. A little bit of localised redness. That's good. Just going to have a 
little look on the inner areas for any papillomas. Five. The conjunctive 
purple redness. We're looking at grade one, right and left eye, which is known as the trace amount. Grade one is trace, using this scale. And just looking at the opposite side, we also looked for any signs of blepharitis safely say we have a grade zero right and left and we had clear and open meibomium glands which are the lipid producing glands there making up one of the components of the tear film grade zero there excellent I don't think there's anything else to cover today for coming and pop your notes in your file and I think we can discharge you now back to your GP